Hello, this is Dr. Kemi Amolulu-Lunlayer. It's about 10 p.m. in Lagos, Nigeria, and today is the 22nd, the 22nd of May, 2020. This broadcast is basically to educate you about what is going on in the world right now with regards to coronavirus, COVID-19. A lot of you don't know me. You've never met me, but you perceive me of one mad crazy woman because your friends told you this is why nigeria itself has been ruined because people do not find out things about others they listen to what every other person says to them and then they make perceptions up of who they are i post photographs of celebrities and i in america and canada and everyone's like praising me in the comments some of you are even asking me, oh, why did this woman come home? Are you crazy? Are you stupid? These are past photos of my career. I have lived it all in America. Somebody wrote the other day, have you ever thought of opening a school for journalism? Have you ever, you just speak. You don't open schools with talk. You open it with money. You talk about, have you ever thought about opening your own pharmacy? All these things I've done in America and Canada. Have you ever thought about investigating who Kemi Olunlaya is? No, you read what other people say. You remember Tukumba Bodiri, the lady in Ireland, the blogger that everybody goes after. Remember how she said that my father slept with me when I was a kid? When she made up that lie, did a video, and all of you believed it? Have you ever asked why Tukumba did that video? Were you there when she confessed that it was all a lie she made up? She didn't do a video for that. She said that one on Facebook Live. Her fans saw it and her enemies saw it. But instead, Biafrans are posting it all over the place and you guys are just believing everything. I read on the internet that I have four children for four men. I don't even have four children, let alone four men. I have a private life. I live a public life, but I have a private life that nobody knows of. That's what makes me a very good investigative journalist. You can't investigate me. Things have been said about me. I even heard I'm wanted in America. Did you see that tweet that I tweeted all the agencies in America, FBI, CIA, which one of you wants me? Think about how things are done. Nigeria is built on lies, rhetoric, and so much more. Some of you want me to follow you on Twitter, follow you on Instagram. I could follow you, but you have nothing to be followed for. You have no content. You have no identity. Some of you are sitting on Instagram with one follower, one post, and you're using Instagram to travel around and read stories instead of building yourself and a brand. No, you want to build crap. Wake up. 2020 has paralyzed many of you. You have no money. You have nowhere to go and you have no ideas. Yeah, it's paralyzed me too. I work at home. I've been a digital journalist for 21 years. I started working at home when I got pregnant with my third child and I was writing at CNN.com. I decided to start working online at CNN.com from home. And on the weekends, I go to the pharmacy. Nobody knows much about me, but you seem to think that things I posted in my past, I could be doing them again. No, I've done them. You compare me to Linda Ikeji. Linda that said on Channels TV in 2006 that she wants to be like me. I see people saying I want to be like Linda. I like to be one of the top bloggers in the top 10 pioneer blogger list in America. That's what she said. This footage. Has Linda ever taught anybody blogging? No. Even her sister, Laura, that teaches blogging one-on-one -on -one is 100,000. Can you afford it? I teach blogging. I started at zero, free. Then I started charging people 20, 30, 40. The last set of bloggers that I charged, 50,000. I taught them full blogging, and I no longer teach it. When I call myself the most intelligent woman in Nigeria, intelligence is not about having three first-class degrees. It goes beyond that. To be the most intelligent woman, you have to share intelligence. When I talk about Linda AKG, there's something I'm getting to. First, you destroyed my business. I hope you know that. I got a 30 million deal with Etisalat and Linda wiped it away. 
by writing a story saying that I kept a lot of guns in my house. Then she apologized by laughing it off on a tweet. I lost my deals. So you now wonder why do I troll her? Why do I? That lady, Linda Ikeji, can destroy you. If I really was wicked, I'll now come out and sue her now that she's made an empire called Linda Ikeji TV. There's not much of it left. Linda Ikeji, so she'll collapse. Her red Facebook. Women are supposed to empower each other, especially women that are successful. I give Linda as an example because... She has her talks, she benefits ladies, she does this, she's done that. Forget all that one about don't sleep around and she was sleeping with somebody. Or, forget about that, okay? What I'm driving at is when the Igbo girls attacked me and flagged my page and Facebook banned me for three days, trying to make a point. The big ladies up there in the Igbo tribe don't go back and give back to the little ones that put them up there. Power is forces, little forces that came up and became big forces. That's what power is. I've asked Linda a lot of times, tweets, posts, start teaching people how you make money. Teach them blogging. I've asked Ngozi the same because I grew up with Ngozi at UI and also in Maryland. And her sister and her brothers Ngozi was a finance minister twice in this government called Nigeria. She's never had a finance seminar. And I believe that the kind of knowledge Ngozi has, she could really make a difference. If Ngozi had a finance seminar, one finance seminar, there wouldn't be any Yahoo boy. She will teach young men, young women, finance and how to make money. Like I said, she just collected four new appointments. She's on the board of every company just about. Twitter board. This one is a COVID board for Africa. Money comes in. Teach people how to make money in Gaza. Give back. So that's why I call myself the most intelligent. I share intelligence. I sit down here and I have people who are bashing me and saying, Kenny, you give everything free. I have one guy called AZ. He's in America. Why do you keep giving people free information? You could be selling that stuff. Why do you keep posting your videos on Facebook and Insta, Instagram Live or Instagram TV, IGTV? Post those videos on YouTube and monetize them all. I do that too, but I also still like to share. That's what intelligence is, sharing intelligence. I warn Nigeria of things they don't listen. It happens. I tell Nigerians things, they don't believe it. It happened. Then they vindicated me. You think I just wanted to say Namdi Kano has died, right? I just wanted to make news up. Everyone that said I made something up, they look stupid. Ah, even some media outlets, Cable NG. Twitter fans attack Camille Lunloya, say she's insane, she's this. They celebrate that. Other media outlets. When people are abusing me, saying I'm insane, I'm crazy, that Abakiari has died two days after the cable NG reported that he's doing well. Abakiari died as soon as he got to Lagos. That poor young doctor that treated him in Ikoi, he died too. Did you know that? When he died, they announced that a doctor, a medical professional, will be the first to die, right? No, Dr. Yakubu died in Katsina. This guy was the second person. But they never mentioned his name until later. When Sahara mentioned his name, they never mentioned how he died. He contracted it in a private hospital. No one knew that he was the one that treated Abba. And I revealed that. Wake up. Oyo State is in a pandemic mode now. And I see people abusing me. Telling me to use the best governor you have. She may have been a good governor starting up, but with this pandemic, I'm not saying he's a bad governor. He's really handling it very poorly. I feel that when Shei contracted coronavirus and recovered, he shouldn't have been at the top of that task force. He should have appointed somebody at the top of the task force and preferably a medical doctor. That's where UCH is. Somebody could have been there. Even though UCH's medical director also contracted it. There has to be one doctor in that whole Ibadan. 
okay, if she had put me as the head of that task force, I wouldn't have taken it. It belongs to a medical doctor who has a lot of experience in microbiology. Did you know that? But he still made himself the head of the task force. Sadly, 78 people contracted coronavirus in Ibarra from two or three different companies, all sister companies, iSun Experience, MTN, this one, that one. She didn't want to say the name of the companies until I called him out. You don't think it's okay to shut down Bodega Market and make it three days a week? Like in Lagos or Balin Day Market and all the markets in Lagos, Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays or Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays, you don't think you should start with that? There's no social distancing whatsoever. Bars are open, clubs, parties are going on until people start dropping like flies. Or your state will become crazy. And I keep warning them. They don't listen. Let me tell you something. Today, the 22nd of May, 2020, Brazil announced 18,000 new cases. 2,000 people died yesterday in Brazil of coronavirus. 2,000. Brazil right now is number two and is on a pandemic close down. This thing came from China and moved to the Europe place and United States, now South America. It's coming to Africa in a big bang. It's already here, but I'm talking about a bigger scale than what you have now. Look at South Africa, the most numbers in Africa. Are you seeing what's going on? Their health system is collapsed. But yet you sit down there abusing Kemi Olunlayo. I'm here to teach you everything you need to know. I don't make news up. I tell you concrete facts, and you know that. All this Yoruba stuff on my Facebook page, oh, yeah, Yoruba's now abusing Kemi because she's criticizing Shea. I don't want to be in politics. I've always said that anybody over 55 shouldn't be in politics. All that stuff going on in the United States is stupid. Trump is too old. Biden is too old. They're all too old. Everybody in the 70s is running for office. Over 55, you shouldn't be anything in office. When Obama came in at 47, we were glad. Shane McIntyre is 50, 51, going on 52. Do you know that in this case, some of you sit down there abusing me. Do you know that if I ran in 2023 against Shane McIntyre for governor of Ohio State, I'll probably win. You know why? Because I'm popular. And what will win me that governorship seat is the popular vote. And then I'm a woman. Almost every woman in Oyo State will vote for me. <laughs> and then I'll probably be the first female governor in Nigeria elected. Guys, never say never. If you have a dream, keep on that dream. I don't want to do politics. Okay, my dream is to work at the Food and Drug Administration or the National Institute of Health in the United States, NIH. Listen to what I've done. Okay, I've lived most of your past. I've had houses, cars, everything in America. You're comparing me to Linda Ikeji, a mere blogger. I'm a professional blogger, the first Nigeria, <laughs> and a journalist. I have nine investigative journalism prizes. Everybody comes to my page looking for giveaway. Meanwhile, I'm begging for money for people to donate so that I can do this assignment. I need $2,500 a month. Dave Keaton treated, tweeted, that journalists in Europe are losing 2,500 euros a month. I know that. BuzzFeed has shut down in London and in Australia. BuzzFeed. Can you imagine? Because nobody has funding. Coronavirus is real. Sit down there and say the government is only eating money because you had Oyakilome and Ibiomi. We're not treating malaria. We're treating malaria. We're using malaria drugs to, to treat an invasive virus. The people are dying in Brazil right now. 2,000 died yesterday. I covered Italy, I covered France, I covered UK. Wash your hands, wear a mask. Stay at home as much as possible. You need to know what's going on. Several have died in Yobe, Adamawa, Kano, Northern Nigeria. The Chinese doctors. At first I thought it was bogus. Our government told us they were doctors. They came here as doctors to take care of their own Chinese people. A company hired them. And they probably leave when they're done. Don't pin coronavirus on China because we don't know who brought it to China. China says somebody brought it to Wuhan. And they're blaming the Americans. The Americans said they are the ones that spread it across the world. Stay tuned to my work at all social media.